Not satisfied with the pole for the Daytona 500, Chase Elliott held off Joey Logano coming to the line to score the victory at Daytona International Speedway in the Xfinity Series. The driver of the number 88 Junior Motorsports Chevrolet held off the number 22 Team Penske Ford to win the Power Shares Triple Q 300 at Daytona. When I say held off, I mean beating and banging to the line. Logano dented the right rear corner panel of Elliott's car while getting pinched to the outside wall. Quote, the plan was to make him the move off a of four and going to the top, he blocked the first move and wiggled to the bottom and back to the top. At that point, is a little late and then we touched each other and that is, is the killer, Logano said. Once we had that touch, it killed our momentum and I couldn't pull him back enough to get in front of him. Casey Kane routed out the podium in third in his number five JR Motorsports Chevrolet. Elliott Sadler finished fourth in the other JR Motorsports Chevrolet. Austin Dillon rounded out the top five in his number two Richard Childress Racing Chevrolet. Darrell Wallace Jr. finished sixth in his number six Roush Fenway Racing Ford, while Brandon Jones came home seventh in his number 33 RCR Chevrolet. Daniel Suarez finished seventh in his number 19 Joe Gibbs Racing Toyota, followed by Blake Cook in ninth in his number 11 Colleague Racing Chevrolet. Brendan Gaughan rounded out the top 10 in his number 62 RCR Chevrolet. The race lasted 2 hours, 1 minute, and 13 seconds at an average speed of 194.898 miles per hour. There were 19 lead changes among 9 different leaders. It was slowed down 4 times for 17 laps. By winning this race, Elliott at 20 years, 2 months, and 23 days also became the youngest Xfinity Series winner at Daytona.